Brandon, it's so great to be with you here at MWC. One of the big topics here is AI. So how has AI specifically influenced and shaped the telecommunications industry? Oh, you're so right. AI is everywhere around, but I think the biggest impact AI has had, it's made us think about how we solve problems in telco differently. And let me give you some examples. Um, we have to do a lot of manual effort to do things like uh, tune KPIs in networks and try to secure networks and figure out what our customers want. But with AI, we can actually use AI to detect fraud in the, uh, data patterns, right? So it can replace what our data analysts are doing. It can actually tune networks with KPIs better than humans can do just because it can outthink humans. And then we can use it for service assurance. And you know, even if you think uh, like Spotify, how it could recommend you a song, we can also use it to recommend services to, uh, to people that buy services from telco. So I just think the, uh, you know, Opportunities endless for what we could do with AI. And I always say, I think AI is going to be everywhere in telecom, but you got to start somewhere, and that's with Mavenir. So, moving on to Open RAN, can you give me an update on the status of Open RAN radios and what the market looks like today? Sure. So, um, the Open RAN market has now deployed uh, massive MIMO radios as well as uh, RRUs. So, both 32 and 64T, 64R active antenna radios have been deployed and uh, single, dual, and triple band uh, 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 macro RRUs have also been deployed. It's so great to be here with you. How is the approach to monetizing 5G revolutionizing the telecom industry? So it's exciting time for 5G uh, because right now we're getting the second wave of 5G investments. The initial was consumer, which all the operators did. Right now with 5G monetization, we get enterprises, verticals, mining sector, government investment. So the whole idea behind 5G SA was not consumer, although consumer was the first, first wave, it was really enabling verticals, enterprises, global IoT. So it's really exciting time for 5G because finally we're getting the monetization which was promised by 5G networks. Rick, the whole idea behind virtualized RAN is so that software from one vendor can interoperate with hardware or software from another vendor. How's that going? Actually, it's going quite well. So the concept is open RAN, right? The idea is to give vendors or operators choices in who they work with uh, to increase innovation and drive the ecosystem uh, for open RAN. So at Mavenir, we have lots of experience integrating our software with different server vendors, different cloud uh, vendors, and also different uh, radios from other companies. And so uh, with that, we have many commercial deployments integrating our radios with other software vendors or our software with other radio vendors and, and, and making sure that this happens in the industry. Uh, and the benefits of this are vendor choice, lower costs, and yeah, there's some issues that we run into sometimes with integration, but at Mavenir, we're an expert at that. We've solved a lot of problems to make this work, and we've proven it in commercial deployments. 